Hi, it is I, a generic stand-in character for a man who doesn't want to buy a webcam, here to tell you about some of the Hunt Showdown strats of all time. From the superb strats. <laughs> I got banned. To the unconventional strats. And even ones that have your enemies begging for mercy. Please don't. Wait, 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 wait. Please, please, no! With these strategies, you could raise your MMR from this to this. Now, at the end of each of these strategies, I'll be ranking them with a very well thought out system designed by some of the brightest minds of this generation. A double star rating system. Now grab your friends. Oh. Alright, never mind. Grab some randoms. Oh. Alright, let's just start with some of the soul strategies then. The Bushwookie. The strategy for the unloved. This strategy involves grabbing your favorite camouflage character, your favorite long range rifle, and a good book, since you'll be doing a lot of waiting. This strategy is quite shrimple. The whole point of the Bushwookie strategy is to be so far away that you're just a speck in the distance. As you relocate your position after every shot to avoid any dangers, picking off your enemies one by one until they, you know, just get bored and walk away with the bounty. Playing as the Bushwookie is quite easy. All you have to do is just start the match off normal, getting clues, and figuring out where the boss is until you hear the sweet sound of an oblivious enemy team. All you have to do now is run to the vicinity of the sounds until you finally see movement. And now, your time has come. You must now sit here, waiting until that perfect opportunity. That perfect opportunity. And now you must run away to find another angle to snipe until the enemy team just gets bored of looking for you and runs away. Well, hello there! I bet you're wondering how I got up here as much as I wonder how I'll get down. Hiding in Hunt Showdown is one of the most underrated strategies in the whole game. Whether it's in plain sight, in a bush, or in how the fuck did he get there? For this strategy, we'll be focusing on the third option. Now I've gathered up some of my favorite spots from around the bayou to show you how to be the ultimate rat. I'll be honest, this is the most ridiculous of all the spots, and in my opinion, the most funny. To get to the spot, all you have to do is just jump on a box, and then just keep jumping up a pole, and uh, yeah you have it. You can do that. Now, since most hunt players have the skeletal structure of a pig, looking up is beyond their capability. They're on top of me. So all that means is you just have to wait here until the time to strike appears. Or until you find that one guy. Hi! Ah! This next spot I like to call Elf on the Shelf. All you have to do is just jump on some more boxes, and then pop on over to the shelf. You have to be careful though, since the shelf was recently waxed and you quite like to slide off. Pearl Plantation is another one of my special spots wow. that I like to call I'm gonna get to the, Elf the on the Shelf spot. too. With only just one big jump to get to the spot. Oh! <laughs> uh, I can explain. What happened? To use the brickwork spot, it takes a little practice to get right, but you have to get the angle just right to jump up, and from there, you're allowed to get under the roof, where you're now exposed to the entire bayou. Hi, Josie. Oh, oh. Oh. The Skepper Lake spot really mixes it up, and instead of climbing a shelf, 
All you have to do is climb another box, and then a hay bale. Yeah, come close. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's so stupid. Oh. Lastly, the spot is just a tree. You guys see this thing? See what? There's someone there. Oh, yeah, there is. I didn't even really register the fucking birds in all honesty. I thought it was one of you guys, even though you're right next to me and the birds were not right next to me. I just didn't really think about it. Do they see us? No, they're going to the bridge. For the last of the solo strategies, we'll be focusing on a very crucial element to Hunt Showdown. Sound. Sound plays a crucial part in the gameplay of Hunt Showdown. It plays a high factor in the outcome of a match. One wrong step on a twig, one slightly agitated horse, one really neat firework show. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All have one thing in common. They all let the enemy know exactly where you are. Ah, oh my god! Silence and Hunt Showdown is your friend, allowing you to get the jump on anyone who makes one of these blunders. So now, who in the right mind would be stupid enough to make sound on per- Oh. Now even though there are tools in this game that make sound, such as blank fire decoys, chaos bombs, and random teammates, we'll be utilizing a different never ending source of sound. Chicken cages. Unfortunately, only chicken cages work for some obvious reasons. To start, the best equipment for this strategy is to use a silenced weapon, as loud weapons might ironically give away your position. Next, you must start the match off normally with one goal in mind. Find the boss lair faster than anyone else. The next step is a bit of luck unfortunately. You have to hope that this boss lair has a chicken cage in it, and if it does, well, just hop on in there, turn off the lamp, and just sit around waiting until someone shows up. Now picture this, you've got your handy dandy long ammo rifle, and you just hit the person you're fighting. They're hurt, but not dead yet. You must think quick now on how to follow up to end this fight quickly without losing your life. Do you A. Reload and try to shoot them again? B. Do you pull out your secondary and try to hit them with a follow up shot? C. Rush them. So. Oh yeah, that's way too far for me to go. Ah! Or D. Have your buddy just fly a beetle on over to him. Maybe if you were good at the game and didn't hit that shot by pure luck, you could follow up that shot and kill them. But let's be honest, you're not. In all honesty, this strategy is probably the easiest, and one of the most effective, with the only tough part being actually hitting the enemy. All you need is at least one friend. Your loadout must contain a high damage rifle that does at least 125 damage. And of course, a stalker beetle. Poison Animal does make this strategy a bit easier, since it gives the beetle pilot a little bit more time to attack. He's dead. All that is left is to decide who is flying and who is shooting. Once you have this down, all the shooter has to do is aim center mass. While this is happening, the beetle pilot should be close by, keeping an eye on the fight at hand. Now after the shooter hits, after many previous failed shots, it's the beetle's time to shine. Fly in there, and blow yourself up! Wait, 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 please, please, And uh, yeah, you, you did it.
The 19th century was a time of great technological innovations. The diesel engine and the kinetoscope were recently invented in 1893 and the automobile in 1885, all precursors to major technological advances to come. Every great invention was meant to fit a role in society. Enter the year 1895 with a need for a new invention, one to help with a new problem that has risen, self-inflicted explosive casualties. Uh -oh. Little did they know, it would pave the way for what we now recognize as the primitive version of a drone strike. This groundbreaking invention reshaped the landscape of warfare, offering a means to strike without exposing oneself to harm. The operation involved a two-person team, one in close proximity to the target, and the other safely positioned at a distance. The Beetle, akin to early prototypes, operated on a delicate fuse system, demanded swiftness and execution. Once armed, the Beetle soared into action, navigating the air with a mix of precision, yes. swiftness, and caution. Go! <laughs> go, little guy, go! The target often no, caught off guard, no, 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 no. had minimal reaction time, trap down there? a testament Ooh. to the efficiency of this attack. Oh shit, that's a kamikaze bug! A successful operation concluded oh, with a strategic a rush, leaving the assaulters usually victorious. I got him. Phone voyage! We have an sliding door below you. Right here! I... Oh no! <laughs> so close. That was the year 1895 witnessed a renaissance of warfare innovation. Battles, whether on a small or grand scale, saw a shift in favor of those wielding this groundbreaking technology. Hey everyone, it's Turkey. I've been working on this video for a while, and it's partially due to the footage I have to obtain, the editing required, and me just being lazy. As well, I got sick a few times. Hunt Showdown has a lot of interest in bombs. There's a concertina bomb, frag bomb, dynamite, and all sorts of other highly effective bombs. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I plan to try and upload a little more often with shorter videos, but life gets busy, so things don't always go according to plan. I would love anyone's feedback so that I can improve my videos, as well as any suggestions to any games or ideas anyone has. But besides all that, adios.